Hello, my favorite travelers out there. Olivia Boudram here and Happy New Year to each and every one of you. This is a new year, new travels, new adventures. Looking forward to all of them and bringing you more information and tips and knowledge on traveling. You are watching Your Travel Insurance. Yes, that's the new name for this channel is Your Travel Insurance. It's a new name, but it is not a new idea. We're still keeping with the same topics that we talked about before, the staying, sa <laughs> the staying safe, the traveling healthy, all of those tips I'm still gonna be bringing to you exactly the same content. The only difference is the name because it's now the name of my company, Your Travel Insurance. So let's get started. We wanna talk this week about travel tips when you are traveling. One of the first things that I like to do is bring a travel bottle with me, my own travel bottle that I can put in my own drinks and have that with me to keep me well hydrated while I am traveling. The second tip is to take a picture of your luggage. This way you'll have a picture of your luggage if for any reason you would lose it and you had to report that to the authorities, you can actually just show them a picture of what your luggage looks like. That makes it much easier for them to identify. A third tip is when you are traveling, think about always going and visiting the same cafe, the same restaurant on a regular basis. This way, when you are there, you will get to know them, the locals, the locals will get to know you. You'll strike up a conversation. They'll help you with tips on places to visit, tips on how to travel. It's a great way for you to expand your whole travel experience. Another tip to keep in mind is to keep a schedule. Schedule when you are going to be calling home, calling friends, family, loved ones, whoever it is that you want to reach out to at home on a regular basis, be it daily, weekly, every other day, whatever it is, so that they know that you are safe. And hey, even if it's just to share your own experiences as to what you've been going through, they'd love to hear from you. Wouldn't they? Want to be jet lag? Here's something. If you land during the day, stay in the sunshine as long as possible. And if you happen to land at night, take a hot shower before you get into bed. This will help to soothe you, relax you, and get a good night's sleep so that when you wake in the morning, it is a new day. Their day. Not yours, but theirs, and you'll be well adjusted. Pack a scarf, a good size scarf too, one like a pashmini. They have so many different uses that you can use it for. You can use it to um, block out the sun. You can use it if it's really dusty anywhere. You can use it to carry things. You could use it as a tourniquet if necessary for any emergency reasons. The uses for a scarf is, is, is remarkable, absolutely remarkable. So think about that. Always have a scarf on you whenever you're traveling. It is the article of many uses. And the last thing, of course, when you are traveling, don't forget to smile. Smile at the locals, smile at your friends, smile, just keep smiling. Smiles are, are well, they're very welcoming. It does help to engage you with the locals. It does help you to engage with other, other travelers as well. So always keep a smile, okay? I hope that um, a few of the tips that I've given you here today are going to be great and come in handy when you are traveling. If you found the tips that I've given you here today really useful, then hey, consider sharing that by hitting the share button down below and passing that on to your friends, family, peers, okay? Remember that this channel is about bringing you knowledge and tips on being healthy, staying safe, and taking care of your travel insurance. Ciao for now.